boy kind of have to be a little bit stout right now because it is 3.46 a.m. right now. <sighs> Let me give you guys a little background story so you understand what the heck is going on and why I am shooting this YouTube video like 3.30 a.m. in the morning. So um, story short, a few weeks ago, I was just looking up airfare online, you know, and I saw this one ticket that it was a one day trip, Philadelphia to Fort Lauderdale round trip for $52, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, when I saw that online from Spirit Airlines, I was like little John for a moment, you know, I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? I had to look at the price again and kind of understand that it was $52 round trip. I was like, what? So I just knew I had to do it, which is why right now I'm here at Fort Lauderdale. I'm right next to the Intracoastal Waterway. I arrived yesterday, 7 p.m. And I've been fishing from like 9.30 p.m. yesterday until about now, 3.30 a.m. I just got done at the Anglings Fishing Pier. I got six different species of fish. I didn't shoot a YouTube video because the light over there was really, really bad. But I included the photos over here so you guys can see, right? The Florida trip is going well so far. So I moved to the Intracoastal Waterway and then I thought, well, since the light here is a little bit better, why not try to shoot a nighttime YouTube video, right? So that you guys have an idea uh, <laughs> that EPF is pulling an all-nighter and trying to catch as many different species as possible over here. So enough, enough said, man. Let me set up my fishing rod over here real quick and let's get down to slang, boy. Here is another fun thing about this entire video. Actually, two fun things to talk about. Number one, I will have to whisper pretty much this entire video because everyone around here is sleeping. There are like houses and apartments around here around the intracoastal you know what i'm saying i am fishing a public location but and the second cool thing about it is this florida trip one day florida trip the only thing that i brought down to florida is this you know what i'm saying my personal item so in other words everything that i need for fishing besides the bait which is in this bag over here there's a dude passing on the bridge looking down here, man. He's probably thinking, what the heck is going on, you know? But anyways, right, I was saying, everything that I need for this fishing adventure is in this bag, okay? Rod, reel, terminal tackle, fishing equipment, photo tank, it is all in here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys in this video, I've already tested and used it, but in this video, I am going to be using my six pieces medium heavy rod the capacity 210 okay which is i just tested at the anglings fishing pier and it is like a real real cool fishing rod check this out six pieces medium heavy it was my first time using it and let me tell you it, it was really really cool so let me set this up here real quick and let's get the fishing started for me continued let me tell you all, tonight was the first evening that I actually used a six pieces fishing rod. Before today, I mean, this is a whole new experience, even for extreme filly fishing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this one here is the Kapasi 210. It is a medium light rod. And this is a seven, this is a seven feet rod. All right. I just use it at the anglings fishing pier caught a lot of fish on it and let me tell you man this rod does really really work i was really really happy with it i don't remember how much i paid for it i'll leave a link in the description so it is pretty much almost complete i just gonna put the last piece over here maybe a high low rig or maybe just a piece of shrimp on a hook and we're gonna get this lane started to see if i can add some more species to this florida trip the main objective of me coming here for a day was to see how many different species of fish I can catch in one trip, right? So I'm at the count of six already. And hopefully that number is going to at least double with the next few videos here on the YouTube channel because I'm going to be fishing nonstop, okay? I've already been fishing nonstop from 9.30 p.m. and it's 4 a.m. right now. I'm going to be fishing until 5.30 p.m. today 
Non stop, my man. God, one boy. It's like side fishing for this fish. No sinker at all, just hook. And these fish are down there just circling, circling around. And some of them are so finicky, very finicky. Check that out, huh? This is a blue, this is a blue striped grunt. And I am pretty sure that not all fish down there are the same species. I don't think all of them are blue striped grunt. The Haimulon is Ciurus, right? Which is a species that I caught earlier tonight already. I got to say, this is actually pretty cool. I don't think I ever got to do something like this before. You know what I'm saying? Nighttime side fishing for saltwater species of fish. I guess you could say that there's a first time for, for everything, right? There, there's a bunch of fishes swimming around here. That's incredible. I got a lot of bait over here. So when fish are actually finicky like this, meaning that they are, they kind of double check your stuff when it falls in the water. What I do is I chum a few pieces here and there, right? Not only it attracts the big fish, if there are big fish around the area, but it kind of makes those finicky fish, you know, drop their guards when it comes to pieces of shrimp falling in the water. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a shrimp on my hook and throw it right over there. All right, next the species, please. There's got to be something different here, right? It can be all, it can be all blue. Ooh, shrimp disappeared, bro. Disappeared, my man. Midwater. Didn't even go all the way down. What we got here? Mangrove snapper. I knew it. There had to be something different down there. Mangrove snapper. Luthianus griseus, also known as the gray snapper. That's a species I haven't caught yet before, you know? That, that's a beauty, bro. Look at those teeth, my man. You see those teeth right there? Those teeth mean business. It is actually quite interesting that I hooked it right on the upper lip. And because I hooked it right on the upper lip, it makes its canines, right? Its teeth extra, you know. It, ooh, ooh, it's a snapping, bro. It's, ooh, ooh, dude, easy, ooh, easy, bro. Dude. I'm terrified sometimes of taking these hooks out of these dudes, man. Because when they do those little snap kind of thingies, dude, you know they're out there to get you. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Mm-mm. Well, I got to tell you, that side fishing session definitely did not last long, you know? I enjoy it while it lasted. The fish kind of just moved on, I guess with the tide, I don't know. And then the whole place was just empty right in front of me. Another thing too, I have caught many different species of fish in my life. The gray snapper, aka mangrove snapper, aka Lutianus griseus, is one of the most finicky fish I've ever seen in my life. Or at least they can be finicky. People usually use the live shrimp to catch those fish. And if you have it, that is great. Some of them were looking at the dead shrimp, kind of free falling. And they would come, look at it, and turn away. Crazy, man. Anyways, I just changed to a dropper loop rig. Got one ounce on. I'm gonna start casting right in the middle of the channel in hopes, you know, that there's some fish over there, right? In the deeper areas. Water does get deeper. Well, I guess right around the bridge there's that little current break style kind of thingy. Beautiful. And the water is deeper over there, much deeper. It's about seven feet a lowest tide over there. I mean, as it should be, right? Because over here is a channel for the boats to kind of pass. And usually they pass through the center, but I guess they kind of made it deep over here too so that the smaller boats can pass from left to right, right? Oh, got a hit. 
Oh yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Oh, Tom boy. Got a hit all the way out there, my man. You see that band on that rod? And this is a small fish too, man. It's the capacity, bro. Capacity, man. Six pieces, medium, medium light, bro. Putting in work. What do we have here? What did we get? Ah, uh, it's another blue, blue striped grunt, huh? The Hyamulomi Siurus. Apparently, there's a bunch of them around here. Check it out, huh? Bam! Beautiful colors, man. With the light, you guys can't see very well, but it is golden with blue stripes, right? And it's got a signature vermilion red mouth that the grunts have, the Hyamulomi. Look how big the thing opens, my man. Holy cow, you see that? Damn! That is why with these fish right here, you can put a big piece of shrimp, dude, right in front of them with a mouth. Look, look at this mouth, dude. With a mouth like this, bro. It's got little teeth on it, too. Oh, hell yeah, bro. The thing is getting in hell, dude. No doubt. No doubt, my man. I didn't even see where I cast. Oh, I see it now. Hopefully, I didn't cast right next to the piling over there, or, I, or I'm going to get snagged, you know? It's hard at nighttime and with a new fishing rod, you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Look at the size of those manatees, bro. I don't even know if you can see via GoPro or not. I can see with my eyes, man. Big ass manatees just cruising the water. Man, that was a lot of good meat right there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding, all right? EPF does not want to eat manatees, okay? EPF is not suggesting anyone here to eat manatees, okay? Oh, 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 boy! What we got here? Damn, dude. Are you telling me it is really all blue striped grunt over here? <laughs> Man, that bite was like, you know, and it was another blue striped grunt. Look at that. Dude, look, shrimp on the side of the mouth. Little, tiny, smaller than the other one, too. What a gluton, my man. Don't you know that a gluttony is a sim? Go back where you belong. You know, you come out to Florida, multi species, and you fish, and you fish, and you fish. You kind of don't realize, but time passes real fast. It is 5 10 a.m. already. I see some people already jogging right here on top of the of the highway you know what I'm saying I mean I didn't sleep tonight at all but folks already slept and they're waking up man and it's time for breakfast already give you another hour and a half or so the sun's gonna be out all right I better stop doing this before the pieces start to fly out there you know what I'm saying I am a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to show you guys the full potential of my capacity rod, right? But I tell you what, you know, this is just the beginning anyways, right? I am already fatigued to death because I didn't sleep last night. I mean, I didn't sleep this evening, you know, but this is just the beginning. It is currently 5.40 a.m. I'm gonna show it to you guys so that you all believe, man. I fished through the night, okay? I started 9.30 p.m. last night and fished until now, pretty much. I'm going to leave the list of all the different species and fishes that I caught through the evening. Obviously, I didn't film the whole thing. You guys only got to see a bunch of blue striped grunt, you know, and one little mangrove snapper, but hey, that's better than nothing, right? So now I'm going to get some breakfast. And after getting breakfast and uh, up in that HP bar, I'm going to hit fresh water. I think I'm going to do fresh water in the morning and then salt water in the afternoon. Something like that. That's a good plan. So stay tuned, man. Because, I mean, for you guys, it's going to be like a two days period, you know. But for extreme full of fishing, you, you guys will see the full fatigue by the end of the series you know what i'm saying man the struggle is real but i love it <laughs> i'll see you guys 
next time.